Today we are going to continue part two of how to register in the Clave Pin system. If you haven't watched part one, where we request the invitation letter for the Clave, I recommend checking it out. I will leave the link in the description. After having requested the letter as expected in part one, a letter like this would arrive at your fiscal address. Essentially, what we need from it is the verification code, the CSV, which is a 16-digit code. With this code, we will proceed to activate our key in the tax agency registry. To access the procedure, we must go to the electronic headquarter page of the tax agency, the link to which I will leave you in the description. Once here, we go to register in Clave. Enter. And here again, we will enter our personal information, in this case, as it is a NIA for their identification number. They will ask for the support number, as shown in the previous video. Here it is if you have a further card, a residence permit, or a certificate of European Union citizenship. Click continue. Here it says it is necessary to receive the invitation letter at your fiscal address. Indeed, we have already received it. So click on I have an invitation letter and continue. In this section is where we must enter the CSV code of 16 digits. You must enter it exactly as it appears, a combination of letters and numbers, and the letters must be in uppercase. Click continue. In this section, we must fill in the following personal information, mobile phone, confirmation, and email address, accept the conditions, and then send. Well, here they confirm that we are registered in the identification and signature clave system with our personal data. And very importantly, the activation code. We can visualize this in a PDF to save later. After this, you should receive a confirmation of your mobile phone saying that the registration process has been completed correctly. After this, you must activate your key. And how are we going to do it? Go to the following address, clave.gov.es slash activar. And it takes us directly to the page. Here again, we must enter document type, number, email address, and the activation code that appear. After entering the data, we must write the answer to the mathematical formula that appears here. In this case, five times five equals 25, and click next. Later, they will send a code to the mobile phone, which we must enter here. The sender of this code is the social security, and it is a eight digit number. Click next. After this, we must enter a password. Here they tell us the condition for this password. It cannot contain the name, surname, or identification number. It must be a minimum length of eight characters and must have a lowercase and an uppercase there. Everything is detailed there. When both boxes are green, it means that it is an allowed password. Click Submit, and here we receive the completed registration, confirming that the user's activation has been done satisfactorily. After this, simply click Exit. And now we can use this key in the public state administration where allowed, such as the tax agency or social security for immigration issues. Wherever you see this icon, it means that with your user and the clave password we just create, you can access. Well, to verify that we are already registered in the clave system, I will request a document from social security. In this case, I need a key, so I enter this procedure. Here they redirect us to the clave getaway. And in this case, it will be to access it later. I click here on Get PIN. And in this case, it tells us that we must access the Clave PIN application from the mobile. So before this, we must install the application on our mobile. Another way, if you don't install it, it's to request sending a text message to your mobile, which you registered before. So in this case, let's request sending a text message. Here they tell us that they have sent it the pin to our mobile, ending in the last three digits. We enter the send pin and click access, and it gives us access to our required report. This way, we have verified that the key activation was done correctly. And well, that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. For more information, remember to check our website and follow us on our social media platforms. You'll find the link in the description box below. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve with expert guidance on streamlining your paperwork, be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned to our channel.